Hi and welcome back guys and yes I have today hard proof and evidence that most likely Elon Musk will ignite the next bull run and if you uh, want to see what I have on my hands then you should definitely stick around until the end where I'm gonna reveal this so but we of course will also talk about the Bitcoin price and what's happening here on the weekend so let's dive directly into it and don't forget smash up the like button hit the subscribe button and activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important videos and now let's directly start here with the four hourly chart today so we can see Bitcoin was forming here this bull flag that I was yesterday talking about. So but got rejected on the top here of the downward sloping resistance line here once again. So and also the stochastic errors are giving us again a sell signal. So me personally, I'm right now in a short since uh, I think 19,000, uh, uh, sorry, 16,900. 50 if I'm not mistaken uh, let me see if I can pull this up here on my phone to show it to you guys um, no I'm not locked in so unfortunately I cannot show you but I'm around uh, 19,000 uh, again 16,950 ish that was my entry approximately um, I will actually post this later uh, in the telegram channel there is actually my position um, on the screen I shared it in the telegram channel in the free channel the link is um, under the video or in the description of the video uh, so there you can definitely find that so anyway now the question is where will Bitcoin go next so here based on the signal that we got here uh, on the stochastic RSI and the rejection of the top of the um, downward sloping resistance line of the bull flag I believe that Bitcoin is going to head here lower but how low will we actually go so the first stop will be most likely here uh, the 50 <coughs> moving exponential average which is coming in here that is most likely what we're going to retest in the immediate short term uh, based on the four hourly chart for Bitcoin um, and potentially dip here into our support zone that I was also mentioning yesterday here again so and of course that will lead to a rejection of our um, inverse head and shoulders pattern um, and uh, will make it most likely invalid with what I'm seeing right now here on the Bitcoin chart unfolding. Um, so when we are going to the daily chart, however, so there we can see we are still in this symmetrical triangle, but also here we got a rejection yesterday all the way um, up here. We did not break out. So I most likely will here also head down to the bottom of the symmetrical triangle to $16,200. That is again exactly the reason why I'm in a short right now. Um, I have around that level my take profit point. If you want to still get into this trade, it is not too late, guys, for this trade. So you can still do that. So if you want to do that, then don't forget to sign up on Bybit. There you still get $30,000 absolutely for free if you use my link here or $20,000 on BitGet. Uh, also absolutely for free for using my specific link here. Only with these links, guys, you will be able to claim these bonuses. Don't forget that um, if when you are signing up on these exchanges the link is in the comment uh, on the pinned comment below or in the description of the video so now uh, back to the daily chart here so the MACD is weakening as I was pointing it out the last couple of days for three days I'm telling you guys already that we will most likely see here a rollover so this rollover is now in the process as we see here lighter green candles coming in which is uh, which means that the bulls are losing steam here exactly what I also said yesterday so and this will continue in my opinion especially here also with the stochastic errors I uh, flip-flopping here in the uh, oversold um, area so today if we are closing let's say above $17,000 we could see one more push it to the upside also in the price action we could see a fake out here to the upside and then by tomorrow after tomorrow we most likely gonna head back um, into this symmetrical triangle and then go all the way down here when we are looking on the weekly chart uh, I could imagine I could imagine that next week we could see a bullish close for Bitcoin so if this candle is closing as it is right now so if we don't see a harsh rejection here um, directly tonight um, or even uh, today uh, then I think things on the weekly chart looking not that bad right now we could see uh, further movement here to the upside 
um, based on the weekly chart so we don't have to but but of course the daily has to play along for that and also the other time frames and for now it's not looking all too good here uh, when I am looking on the daily time frame and when I look on the daily time frame I could expect here three four five days of downwards movement so that the indicators can cool completely down before we see any upwards um, yeah, bigger upwards movement here. Also, when we look here on the EMA ribbons, we are here on the on a hanging thread, basically uh, on the last string, trying to break it back into the ribbon. We are struggling to do that. So, and um, yeah, if that is not soon happening, then I believe that we will see another leg to the downside. Otherwise, we might retest the middle of the ribbon which will be around $17,500, but I don't expect a major move here above the ribbon with a small consolidation and then um, back to the downside, as we have seen this multiple times happening in um, the last months. So um, I believe rather that we see directly rejection um, under the EMA ribbon here to the downside, then come back, work our way into the ribbon and then go to the upside. And now I want to show you uh, what I have found yesterday. So yesterday I was part of a Twitter space uh, that went over uh, five and a half hours on. I was in there like two, three hours uh, while Elon Musk was in there. So and let me show you just two seconds of uh, two minutes of that space where Elon Musk gave us a hint when the next bull run could be starting. Listen to this. Elon? Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, you're back. Uh, another, another question. I think you made a reference once to WeChat. Um, I think that was a while ago, and I don't recall it correctly. Is, does that reference still stand today? Is that a potential vision for Twitter? Yeah, I was just using WeChat as an example. It's not like we would copy WeChat exactly, but it's just we, we, WeChat does a lot of has a lot of functionality that Twitter should have. Um, like it's kind of a no-brainer for Twitter to have payments, uh, both fiat currency and crypto, and to make that that easy uh, and simple for people to use. Um, uh, as we talked about earlier, adding uh, the ability to post long-form uh, written content and video content, and to, to be able to monetize that easily. Um, and um, nice of a playlist, you know, like YouTube does. Yeah, <laughs> um, but the, 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 my, my focus in, in the first month and, and, and also will be the case in December is, is just um, making sure that, that, twi that Twitter is operating efficiently as a company, that, um, it is not, that it's not wasting money um, because it, it faces challenges on... So guys, did you listen here exactly what he said? He said the next step, one of the next steps for him and a no brainer step is to integrate payments into Twitter so that you can pay with Twitter and he wants to integrate cryptocurrency into Twitter. So now if you think about that, what this could mean, he has so much power and Twitter is a crypto platform that uh, or for let me put it this way. Twitter is the platform for crypto right now. So when everybody is talking about crypto, so and if he can integrate crypto payments into Twitter, I'm quite certain that this will ignite the next bull run. So and this could be just a couple of months away because he's moving quite fast. He has a lot of things. Uh, he also mentioned that on this Twitter space um, on his to do list. But one of them is definitely integrate payments into Twitter because he also said Twitter has right now $12 billion in debt and he is looking for ways to make Twitter whole again and to create revenue for Twitter. And one way could be integrating payments through crypto and non-crypto and charging a small fee for using Twitter as a payment service. So, and that, in my opinion, will drive so much money back into the crypto space that once he's announcing that payments are now available in crypto on Twitter, that this will ignite the next Boran guys. Let me know in the comments below if you think that I'm right here with my hunch about that. But I strongly and firmly believe that exactly at that point when he is announcing that Twitter is accepting payments, crypto payments, we will see a massive run in this market.
Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and follow me also on Twitter. My name is AMCryptoAlex on Twitter. Um, I would love to um, give you also a follow back and there will be also soon um, a last giveaway for the year's end. So definitely um, follow me on my Twitter account. Bye bye.